Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have an unboxing for you guys. It is from a very special store in my heart, one of my all-time favorites. So I thought I would share an item that I purchased for myself, my husband, and I kind of joint purchased it for Valentine's Day. It's something that I saved up for. So I wanted to unbox it with you guys and share it with you guys because I'm very excited about this. I have been researching and watching videos. It's not something that I just went out and bought. It is something that I have absolutely been researching for quite some time. If unboxing videos are something that you don't like watching, please just click out now. Don't watch this video. If you're just going to give it a thumbs down, please don't watch it. But I absolutely love watching these types of videos and so I thought I would share with you guys what I got. So without further ado, let's get into the unboxing. So I did go to the Louis Vuitton store on 5th Avenue in New York City and purchase this bag. and. I was really happy with the customer service that I received. A gentleman sales associate helped me. I don't have one store that I just go to all the time. I kind of just go wherever I want to. Um, I was in New York City today, so I wanted to just stop in there, and they had the purse. I tried it on. It looked great, so I just decided to pick this one up. He gave it to me in this beautiful, beautiful bag here. And I've never seen this bag before. I don't know if this is like a special edition bag, but it's absolutely beautiful with the gold foiled on it. Like it's a gold foiled bag with Louis Vuitton on it. I just think it's beautiful. I want to keep this bag. I probably won't because I don't want to hoard the bag, but it's a beautiful, beautiful bag. Inside the bag, he wrapped it really, really nicely for me in this beautiful box. So it's actually a very small box. I was going to ask him for a bigger box so he didn't have to fold the bag, but it's okay. It's a really nice box. I'll probably end up keeping this box. The only other thing in the bag was my receipt and proof of purchase. Again, just the classic brown Louis Vuitton and here is my receipt and proof of purchase. So that is in here as well. So around the box is the leather string that he tied here. This is now this is the first time that I'm unwrapping it since I've been home with the bag. So I'm just as excited as you are to see it again. So leather string. There's the box. Like I said, I think the box is a little bit small for the bag because it's kind of like popping open a little as you can see, but I'm not going to keep it in the box when I'm not using it, so that's okay. It's a really nice box though. So when I open the box, you'll see here that he did put some white tissue paper and then a little sticker here that says Louis Vuitton. I don't think I've ever had a sales associate wrap a bag like this for me before. So this is actually really, really nice. And then, wow, here is the bag that I purchased. Now I'm a little surprised he didn't put it in the dust bag to be honest, but that is okay. Now the bag that I purchased is the Now, I mean, look how tiny it is when you take it out of the box. So this is how they wrap it probably when you order it online. And this is how they come, like prepackaged and everything, which you will see when I unwrap it, it will have some creases, but they will come right out. And here she is. I purchased the Louis Vuitton Speedy B25 in the Damier Bin print. Now, it's this Louis Vuitton Speedy Bandelier. I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't speak French, I'm sorry. And I did get the um, Damier Bean print. Now I do have two other purses in this print and I love this print and I will tell you why. I also have to say, I love the monogram print. Absolutely love it. But I live in a climate where it rains and snows and so the dark leather just really 
makes me a lot less scared to take this bag out because it comes with hence the bandolier it comes with the strap and the monogram just has this whole strap is the light leather which I know would patina but I just would be too nervous to wear it so here is the beautiful purse. I am so, so excited. I did get the 25. Now, I do own the Speedy 30 and just the regular, but I really wanted this one for a crossbody, and I am in love. So it is one continual piece of canvas all the way around. So as you can see here on the front, it has some, it has Louis Vuitton Paris here and here, and then here and here. But here, the Louis Vuitton here, as you can see, is right side up. And then if you turn it around here, the Louis Vuitton is upside down. Because, like I said, it's just one continual piece of canvas. I'm not going to do, like, this isn't a review of the bag or anything. It's just merely an unboxing. But I'm so excited to have this bag finally. Because, like I said, I have been doing a lot, a lot of research about this bag. And I just been putting off buying it I mean it is you know it's an expensive bag as all Louis Vuitton pieces are but I really really know I will get a lot of use out of this purse because I use my crossbody bags more than any other bags in my collection and this one is just such like like a durable piece like I can just throw everything in it it does have two zippers here which I love and the inside is a beautiful red color as most Damier bin colors are. The lock and key are in this little box in here, which I don't know where I'm gonna put the lock on this purse. I don't even know if I will put the lock on this purse. It has the little, the little mini dust bag for the keys. So other than that, it does have one little side pocket right here which has a little zipper. Oh, that's so cute. A little zipper. And in the little zipper here are two items. So here's the item number in case you were curious. This is the other item that was inside that little mini pocket in case you were wondering. So yes, this is my beautiful new Speedy B25. The biggest difference about this and my Speedy 30 are obviously has the leather going down the side. It has the rings on the side for the strap. Um, minor differences, these little um, pieces here are puffy, which I think is very interesting that they made these puffy now. Other than that, I mean, there's little things about the purse which would make it more of a review. Like it has little Louis Vuittons here. Um, on the side, it says Louis Vuitton Paris right here. It's just a gorgeous, gorgeous piece. And then, obviously, it has the strap. Now, this, this is two straps put together. You can make it a short strap and make it a shoulder bag. I don't even need to do that because this I bought specifically to wear as a crossbody. So with the straps, it looks like this, and I think it's absolutely so stunning with the straps on. I just love it as a crossbody. This is the only reason I bought this bag, really, is for the crossbody, because I will absolutely be using this as a crossbody or just throwing it over my shoulder, but really as a crossbody bag, because I just love it. I will insert some shots of me wearing the bag, so you guys can see what it looks like because I can't really do that sitting down and showing you the purse. But really that's what I wanted to show you about the bag. I absolutely love it. The straps are just beautiful. I'm so glad that I bought the Damier Bean. I don't have to worry about the leather patinaing and getting stained or anything like that. You can see it's just a beautiful piece of leather here and it continues all the way down so this is two straps you can remove this center strap and just connect these two and have it be a shoulder strap and wear it like a, sh a short shoulder bag but again like I said I don't want to wear it like that I don't really like that look of speedies you also can just wear it as a classic speedy just in the crook of the arm the crook of the arm like this it's a little bit small 
I did get the 25 but I bought the 25 because I wanted to wear it as a crossbody. Like I said, I do have the Speedy 30 and the classic monogram. But the 25 is just perfect. I love the red. I just love this size. I'm very petite. I'm only 5 feet. I'm very petite. So the 25 as a crossbody is perfect. If you're like taller and not so petite you probably could get away with the 30 being a great cross body bag for me just being petite this is the perfect size for cross body and like i said the color i just i love just the dark chocolate color with the gold it's really it really is beautiful um i did read like a like i said i did a lot of research on this purse and i did read that a lot of people were kind of upset about the quality because people were saying the gold on the zipper was a lot more shiny than the gold on the rings and seeing it in person I do have to agree that's true the gold on the rings is more of a brassy I don't know how to explain it it's just not as shiny honestly that doesn't really bother me um, it's not something that I necessarily would have noticed if someone hadn't really pointed it out in all of the research that I've done. So, that's something though to keep in mind. The other thing about the 25 is, I know, I'm getting into a little bit of a review. Just a little, it's not really a review, but just my first impressions, I guess. So I guess I could call this a unboxing slash first impressions. Um... The opening is small, so, I mean, not so small that you can't get your hand in there and get your stuff out. You absolutely can get in there and get your stuff out, um, but just, I mean, it's, a, it's, it's smaller. The 30 definitely has a wider opening, so that's something to keep in mind, but it's absolutely roomy enough to fit everything in here. I have the Emily wallet. I mean, I have a lot of big stuff, and I know I can fit it all in here. So the 30 for me is just almost too big and it get, it can get very heavy because you can just start loading stuff in. This one I think is just going to be perfect. So yes. So I think that's pretty much everything I wanted to say. I'm so excited to have this little beauty in my life finally and I know I'm going to get a lot a lot of wear out of it. I'm definitely going to get way more wear out of this than my Speedy 30. So that was my unboxing on my new beautiful Speedy B 25 by Louis Vuitton in Damier Bin. So if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for taking the time and watching this video. I really appreciate all of your thumbs up and all of your views. And I love making videos for you guys. So thank you so, so much for all of your support. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.